me, I'm Barbie dripping. DB9, Barbie whipping. If he say he don't want me back, he'd be lying. Bitch, I'm the sauce. Barbie dipping. I'm the boss. Barbie sipping. They keep telling me work it, I ain't got no choice. I'm all yours. Barbie kissing. Call the stores. Barbie shipping. Out or indoors, baby, I'm a floss. What? Hey y'all, it's Simone Love coming at you with another video. And on today's video, I am going to be doing a little chit chat with you in regards to what I did in my day today. Um, I'm going to be doing my makeup um, as well. I feel a lot better. As you can see, I'm a little more energetic than my last two videos have been. Um, I'm still getting over this cold. However, I'm not letting that stop me from getting content out to you guys. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much just going to be doing our makeup today. I feel like getting cute um, and letting you guys know what has been up with me. Um, so first off, I got a new eyebrow brush. I'm happy because my last video, everybody said that my makeup looks really good. However, I personally feel like my eyebrows could have been a lot better if I had an actual eyebrow pencil brush, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have no idea what happened to my, I feel that when I was going through my makeup and I was organizing stuff, I ended up throwing it away on a accident. Um, so I got this one here and as you guys probably heard me say in my previous videos, I like to get stuff on deals. I'm pretty cheap when it comes to some stuff. So I got this, it's called Kiss New York Professional and it pretty much just looks like this. I mean, it's a eyebrow brush for crying out loud and it gets the job done. So, um, what has been up with me? Again, I'm going to be looking into my camera, um, and I'm going to be looking into my mirror as well. <clears throat> what has been up with me? Um, work. <laughs> um, even though I do YouTube or I'm being pretty consistent with my, um, my routine with getting content going i do have a full-time job and i also work part-time um as far as me doing classes i do part-time classes um but that's another story in itself um if you guys have been following me for a while i've talked about um college and stuff like that um i'm going to be using the same materials that i used in my previous video i'm going to be using the ardell professional soft black brow pomade to do my eyebrows um, so, but yeah, um, I work all day, every day. Um, that's a personal preference. I don't necessarily have to, um, work as much as I do, but I like to stay, I, I like to stay on the go. Um, I like money and I have a lot of stuff that I like to buy. Um, <laughs> I'm a compulsive shopper which is pretty much what I did today. Um, I laid around for the most part because like I said, I still have a cold. Um, people are telling me that I may have the flu. We're not claiming that, but <clears throat> I can say that this is not one of the longest colds that I had because I want to say I was all of, I may have been, 18 19 and i had a really bad cold and i honestly said it lasted for around three months yep i was 18 because i was working at walmart for uh, around that time that was my first job and i remember being sick for literally three months and i believe my mom um made me and my brother go to the doctor to get um flu shots and of course when you get flu shots they give you the flu pretty much I didn't know that at that time um so yeah I was sick continuously I had a lingering cough for about three months um however this cold that I have I'm not used to my voice being going to the extent that it is right now um, my voice has been going for over a week it feels like I'm trying to catch another cold on top of the cold that I already have which is pretty weird um but I'm still up still going out um like I said laid around for the most part um I wasn't feeling too good this morning but then um 
it's funny because I was on the phone and I was like, well, maybe I need to go get some coffee. Maybe that's why, because I haven't had coffee um, since I got this cold because I've been trying to um, obviously drink tea and um, keep my fluids and stuff down, like drinking water and stuff like that. So I haven't had any coffee. I had some coffee on, I had some yesterday and I had some Friday. Um, but since pretty much a week has gone by and Melina um, is addicted to caffeine, I think the reason why my head and stuff was hurting or why I wasn't feeling too good was because of the fact that I needed caffeine. Because the moment I went to Dunkin' Donuts and I got my coffee, iced caramel cream sugar large um i felt so much better like i kid you not i went back home sat for a little while i had a smoothie and stuff and i felt like a brand new woman i'm not exaggerating i kid you not i didn't have a, <laughs> i didn't have a headache anymore everything felt so much better it was a miracle so that bus that you heard in the background is my dryer. Um, I'm washing clothes. Um, so yeah, I felt great. However, Dunkin' Donuts, they kind of pissed me off. And the reason why they pissed me off was because I see a sign in my location, because every location is different. Um, in my location, it states that they're pretty much cutting off the free coffee. And if you don't know, thank me later, but Dunkin' Donuts, they give you free coffee every Monday. And it used to be an all-day thing. I would literally get my coffee in the morning, and then by the time I get off, if I just so happen to want another coffee or on my lunch break, I would go get another coffee. It's a small, any kind, iced or hot. Well, not anymore. They're only doing it from 5 to 1 p.m. And why I'm upset is because I don't get off of work at that time and sometimes I don't feel like driving all the way to that location just for me to get some, some more coffee for free I mean I guess you can't be greedy I guess you can say and Lord knows I don't need to be greedy but I mean like what happens to the people that get off of work or the people who work two jobs or the people who are in school or what have you and they simply just want to go get another thing of coffee I don't feel like that's, I don't know. I feel that's pretty mean, Dunkin' Donuts. So, if you are watching this, someone who works with Dunkin' Donuts and you just so happen to like this movie, I should tag them. And I should, you know, you guys should just, in my area, just Dunkin' Donuts worldwide. You guys should literally have the free Mondays. You should make it a Friday too, just to say, hey, here's a little pick me up for the weekend. You got through the week. I feel that you guys should, you know, have it until you guys close for that one day. I feel like, you know, some places they they have a good thing going and then they always seem to mess it up. Always seem to mess it up, get to change and all types of stuff. Stuff that doesn't even need to be changed. So I'm upset with that because they had already changed the happy hour. Happy hour is supposed to be from... Um, it's supposed to be from 1 to 6. Well, now they changed it to 2 to 6. And I'm like, just push it back later and later. Why? For why? You know, some of us people, we actually, we cherish those moments. We look forward to times like that. You know what I mean? I don't know why this eyebrow looks a little bit thicker than that one, but... And that's okay. And do you see how much faster it was for me to do my eyebrows, guys? Like, uh, I'm so happy. Get you a eyebrow brush with the the applicator on the other end. Like I said, I use um, the pomades now for my eyebrows. I don't use um, an eyebrow pencil. I used to when I first started doing my makeup. I was using eyebrow pencils and stuff like that. Um, but I just personally feel like... The brushes and the pomades, they just go on a little bit easier for me. The hair that I have in, this is just something that I threw on today. Um, it's one of my wigs that I made a while ago. And 
I have a lot of wigs that honestly just sit um, in my, you know, wig bins um, for when I get ready to throw them on and stuff like that. So this is a main extensions piece. Um, I don't, this is not a frontal. This is simply just a closure piece that I honestly plucked too much um, when I did it. Um, however it still looks really natural and very realistic like once i you know put it to the side and stuff i'll show you guys that at the end um so if you are looking for some um custom pieces or you're just looking for some virgin hair things of that nature the hair that i have i used to sell brazilian malaysian and peruvian however as of today i only sell malaysian hair um, my malaysian hair that i have it's very silky it's good density um obviously like i said the wigs are very sleek at least how i do my wigs and when i apply my wigs you honestly don't need to use any got to be good any freeze hold none of that stuff um it's seamless um and this is honestly just a natural piece that i have simply because it resembles my real hair um if you guys have seen me on social media you guys know that this is pretty much my real hair um so yeah i just have this one it looks pretty nice but let's get back to the makeup um i don't know how i feel today in regards to makeup um maybe we should use a pop of color since what i have one now it's pretty simple um i don't know guys what do you guys think i'm gonna be using this palette a lot because like i said before in my previous videos i want to get a little bit more into color um my dad used to hate when I was a kid back in the day because he said that I used to just love black and I wore black all the time. And honestly, it is true. You can't go wrong with black or your creams and your neutral colors. I love them. Don't get me wrong. I still wear, you know, colors, but sometimes you just got to play it safe, you know? Um. So, yeah, today was just amazing. Like... I went out, got my coffee, I walked the dog, which by the way, he's sleeping, so if you're snoring, it's Chino. I'm um, gonna have to do a video with him so you guys can see my hand to man. Um, but yeah, I walked the dog. It was raining pretty bad um, here where I'm located. Um, but I didn't let that stop me. Um, I ran a few errands, I picked up a couple of things from the store. Um, I got some more um, face wipes and stuff like that for my makeup. I honestly think that I want to do some orange. Simply because orange was one of my favorite colors um, in its fall time. And I just feel that it's really cute. So we're going to play around with this, guys. We're, we're going to see what we come up with. Um, so pretty much what I do when I want for my makeup to be a little bit more pigmented, I simply just take a concealer and the concealer that I use is the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, I simply just take that and I dab. Oh, first of all, that's not what we're doing because we didn't even, um, we didn't clean our eyebrows. Um, to clean my eyebrows, I use a different foundation. I do not use a concealer. And the reason why I don't use a concealer is because sometimes I feel like concealers can be a little thick and it's a little harder to clean up. Um, and you have to keep going over and over and over again in order for your eyebrows to um, pretty much look dry. Um, so the additional concealer that I use, this is actually my shade now. Um, but I'm not going to be using this because um, it's pretty cheap and it doesn't really go on really nice you kind of look a little watery i mean not watery but a little um greasy um is the wet and wild foundation um photo focus and i use this in the color i believe this is caramel yep caramel um and i pretty much just use that to clean up my eyebrows because it just i don't know it just goes on a little more seamlessly to me and i just do a few little dots like that You just clean those eyebrows up, girlfriend. Again, I am still sick, so I do sound really congested still. And I want to apologize for my other videos that I have. My most, um, 
my previous uh videos that i just recently did like i said because of the fact that i'm sick i don't seem really enthused while i was um talking to you guys or it seemed like i just really didn't care to be on camera it is not that i didn't care i just <laughs> i'm sick um uh, but we have a lot of energy today as stated before so that is the difference from your eye this one's a little cleaned up and that one you know it still looks good we're just gonna you know um I'm not one of those ones who go over the top. I mean, if you want to, you can. It is not necessary that you do that to me, in my opinion. Um, again, I'm not a I'm not a beauty guru. Later in the future, I may feel it is necessary. I change my makeup routines a lot, okay? And that's one good thing about makeup, because like I said before, you can erase it. And you can start again. You can see what you like. And you can figure out what you don't. And there are no rules. To make up. That's the beauty of it. Boom. Eyebrows, honey. Okay. Um. <clears throat> oh, yes. Went to Walmart. And every time I go to Walmart, I find something that I want to buy. Knowing, gosh darn well, I don't need anything to buy. I don't need to buy anything from anywhere. I find reasons to buy stuff. I say, oh my God, these ice cubes are reusable. I should buy them. I bought them. Do I use them? Barely. I honestly think that the ones you, the little trays you use are a lot better. But, I had to buy them. Um, and everyone is in the stores these days. Um, obviously because of the fact that it is holiday season. But I'm like, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. And y'all are in the stores. Like, they're packed. But I understand it's that time of year. You want to start getting your gifts and stuff together. And you know everyone wants to start getting everything early um ahead of time so what i'm doing now is putting some concealer on my eyelids as stated before simply so that i can give um almost like a primer um to give my eyes a little of a foundation for my for my um eyeshadow so that it can go on a little more seamlessly. Give it a little more pigmentation, if you will. And I do not color correct. Um, comment below if you know how to color correct. I know there. I know that there are a lot of people. Um, out there who do color correct and like these parts right here I have um, hyperpigmentation honestly on my entire body so there are certain parts of my face like right here for instance that are darker or lighter than than the other um, in certain places I feel that even with foundation it still does not go on as seamlessly um, as I would like it to um, however, with the color correcting, maybe I just don't know how to do it or maybe I'm just not getting my proper shade to color correct. But I don't feel that the colors that, I mean, well, when I try to color correct, I don't feel like it works. If anything, I have a red color corrector here and when I did it, I feel like it made me look like a Oompa Loompa. So maybe, like I said, I'm just not doing it correctly, but I do want to find um, something or maybe to get a new foundation 
that does give me that full coverage because of the fact that I am too toned in certain spots. Um, you can see a freckle here or a freckle there or wherever and you can see a beauty mark there or like say a dark, you know, mark here. Um, so yeah, if you guys know how to color correct, please comment below because I am all ears to that because I really want to know how. Um, okay, so pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this dark color purple, I mean purple, this dark colored um, orange here and I am going to simply apply that to the crease of my eyes. What else did I do today? Um, I washed clothes. I've just been around the world and I, 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 because I finally can, I can see clearly now the rain was still pouring, but I got outside, you know? I went to TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx. I like this video if you guys are the biggest fan of TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Ugh, love them, honey. Love them. I grew up on them. People will be sleeping on TJ Maxx. Marshalls. Oh, and Home Goods. I went to Home Goods too. I was actually looking for a um. I wanted a a key holder, um, a key and mail holder. And I had just went there earlier in the week. I believe it was a Tuesday when I went and I was looking for one. And for some reason, well, not for some reason, again, it's the holiday seasons. It was gone already. I'm going to say it was like maybe three or four that I had thought that I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. I'll come back and I'll get it. Well, too bad for me because I went because I wanted to get it so that I can actually have somewhere to put my mail because I honestly just throw my mail on the counter. I know I'm not the only person who does that. Um, or I try to find a little spot for it somewhere in the living room and it just it just looks cluttered and I don't like that. I want to declutter stuff, keep stuff organized. Um, went to look for it and it was just these big dumb boxes that just say like US mail or something and it was like not vintage looking but because some vintage is good. It was just like I don't know no offense to down on the farm. Do it like down on the farm and it wasn't my style. So I caught myself getting something just to get it because I want because I needed it um, to stay organized and then I said you know what, Melina? No. Save your coins, sis. Wait. <laughs> I have a, a habit of doing that to where some stuff I don't need. Or I need it, but when if it's not what I want, I catch myself getting it because of the fact that I need it. And it's not necessarily the style or exactly what I had envisioned. Uh, which sometimes can be bad because I end up just hoarding because then I'll find another one wasting money. Or I'll end up taking it back. Um, okay, so to make this a little darker, no, I think this looks all right. Okay, so I was pretty much playing around with this makeup and the orange didn't look as dark as I wanted it to. So I pretty much went in with my uh, L'Oreal Makeup Designer Paris um, in the La Palette Nude. Uh, the same one that I used in my other one and I used that dark color um, right here um, simply just to um, darken it up some. And I simply just patted it on first just to see, you know, how I felt about the color and how it was um, blending. And I pretty much just blended that on into the orange to, you know, warm it up a bit so that it looks more of a, you know, fall burnt orange compared to um, a summertime light orange, in my opinion. <laughs> okay guys so i pretty much went over my eyelids again with that concealer and i just dabbed it right in the middle here and that is technically what you call your cutting crease now again i'm not a professional makeup artist and i'm going to keep saying this because there's someone who is going to see this video and they're going to say she don't know what she's doing i probably don't know what i'm doing but i think it looks good <clears throat> Okay, so I am going to go over this next um, with this light, with this orange here. It's a little glittery and a little shimmery. 
if you guys can see that here. Um, and I just want to dab that right on top. That's cute. Okay, so pretty much what I did, I just went back over with that orange that I had and I pretty much drug it up some to blend it out just a little bit more um, so that it's not all just within the middle um, of my eye. Um, and I feel that I want to take just a smidget, literally a dab of that brown um, to kind of put right above that crease that we did just a little bit. Like I said, to darken it up some. This is my safe color, obviously, because some, <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> So we just take that so that it's not too dark and you're not, you know, just completely messing up your makeup. And the key to good makeup is simply just blending. A lot of people don't blend. And that is what we have. Okay, so next we are going to go in with our foundation. Again, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty in the color 380. This is my this is my summer color. I actually need to go um, back to Sephora and I need to get the um, actual my winter color, which is in the color 370. Um, I'm using my just put some of that on. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and I've applied my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with that um, LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm going to go underneath my eyes. I have two. I have one in the color Cool Tan and I have one in the color Warm Honey. And I believe Warm Honey is actually my color for right now. Like I said, this is technically my summer shade that I'm using. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me um so this one here is actually a little bit lighter um so it will brighten me up some and i won't look so red um since i'm pretty much lightening up for the winter
Next, we are going to go in with our Ellen Tracy's contour palette. It looks like this. Yes, she is not my skin tone, but she works, okay? Um, and this is pretty much what it looks like here. Okay, and I'm gonna be going in with this color here to contour. One step that I forgot, I forgot to go in with my powder to pretty much set um, <clears throat> my highlight and things that I have with my concealer. Um, but that is perfectly okay, even though we put the contour down already. Um, if you want for your look to look like this, that is perfectly fine. You can go in with a regular setting powder or you can go in with baby powder. That is another hack um, that you can use when you are doing um, your setting for foundation. Um, however, I go in with the Maybelline New York Dream Wonder. Um, this is the color honey beige and i use the color honey beige simply because it is my skin tone if not just a tiny 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 bit darker um and it literally goes on seamlessly to where you don't look so highlighted um so if you want to dull that down some as stated in my last video you'll just go over your foundation with this all over your face just to tone down your just to tone your highlight down just a smidge So before we do highlighter and anything additional, I'm going to go ahead and put on my um, eyeliner and then I'm going to go ahead and come back once my eyeliner and my eyelashes are on. All right, y'all. So I decided to come back on camera and show you guys how I apply my eyelashes. Um, I had someone comment and stated that they wanted to see <clears throat> exactly how um, I apply them. And I am pretty much wearing my Ardell Wispies, Demi Wispies um, uh, Faux Minks. Um, I am looking um, on my website, it shows where I have falsies coming soon, um, and I am looking to get those situated very soon. I'm still going through egg vendors, so I'm not too sure of exactly um, who I want to go with yet, um, but once I have those out, I will definitely let you guys know. So stay tuned. Like I said, if you go ahead and you subscribe on my website, you guys will be able to see exactly when I have those coming out, and you'll be the first to get those with coupon codes, okay? Um, so to apply my eyelashes, again, I use hair glue. I do not use... Um, regular lash glue simply because i feel like it goes on better to me it takes less time to dry it gets tacky in your eyelashes it's their hairs you know what i mean um it doesn't say that you can't use it on your eyelashes it doesn't say anything like that um however i would be very 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 cautious using this because it does get really sticky once it comes off it literally like hair glue it crumbles into a little ball just like this it comes off so easily so it doesn't get stuck or anything like that. But like I said, just be careful once taking these off, regardless if you're using hair glue or not. Um, so I pretty much just put a very little bit on the strip of my eyelash, like so. Mm -mm. Got a little bit of too much on there, that's why you just take some off like so. Like I said, it crumbles up. You blow on it some and you want to wait for it to get tacky. You don't want to put it on right when it's wet um, with any glue that you decide to use. Um, simply because it isn't going to stick as easily. So you're just going to blow on it some and you're going to wait for it to get tacky. Disclaimer, if you guys see anything in my nose that just so happens to look like a booger, it is not. I have a septum piercing, okay? So don't say it's a booger. Don't say, ew, that's nasty. I have a piercing, okay? Um, make sure that you put on your mascara first. Um, I like to put on mascara first simply because it allows your eyelashes to lay down seamlessly without you having to apply it. Once you apply mascara to your falsies, it kind of messes it up so you're not going to be able to get as many uses out of them. The mascara that I decided to use today is the W7 Lash Tastic False Liquid Lashes. Um, and it pretty much looks like this. I don't know why my um, lighting is so bad today. But anyway, um, you take your eyes pretty much and you look up like this and you just want to take it and you're just going to lay it right on top okay and i know that sounds like so easy and just no instruction at all but if you need help and you need assistance my best bet is to use tweezers tweezers are your best friend when you're first starting off putting on um, eyelashes but you don't want to let this dry up so you're just going to take your eye lash and you're going to set it right on top
okay so once you lay it on top you're honestly just going to squeeze your eyelashes and the eye band together so that it has a a good hold and that's how you apply your eyelashes guys okay nothing really to them and you look good okay so next i'm going to go ahead and go in with my mascara again and i'm going to do the bottom lashes um simply so that my eyes can pop just a little bit more and once i'm finished with those i'll go ahead and come back once i'm applying my lipstick all right guys so we're pretty much finished here i am going to go in with a liquid lippy i love the liquids better they just go on a lot easier for me um and the one that i'm going to be using today i am going to be going in with my anastasia beverly hills and this is the color ashton and it simply looks like this it's very, very, very pretty, and I feel that it ties well into this look. I'm not going to outline my lips um, this time simply because I feel that this color goes well by itself. Um, so, one, we're going to make sure that our lips are moisturized. Okay, so pretty much we are done with our look i'm gonna go ahead and apply some highlighter um and i'm going to apply um a little bit onto my brow bone because i forgot to do such um so you're just going to dab just a little bit on there um just to give it to your brow bone just to give it a little bit of a sheen like so all right and then we are also going to just dab and apply some highlighter. I do not have a fan brush, so don't talk about me. I use the same brushes to do everything. Um, and a little bit of blush. I don't like to overdo it with highlights and blush. Okay, so guys so this is the final look that you come up with i went ahead and popped on some earrings um just so that you guys can pretty much see the um complete look of what i have here um <clears throat> yeah so this is pretty much what i came up with and these are the lips now one thing with the um anastasia um lip um liquid lippies is that they are matte obviously um but sometimes with matte um lip glosses um it doesn't feel dry at all however that doesn't mean that it doesn't look dry on your lips um so sometimes i like to just take um one of my um dazzle glasses or lip glosses that i have and i simply just apply it onto my lips however today i really don't feel that it is necessary because i simply just like how this feels and i don't have to continue applying my lip glosses and lipsticks throughout the day um compared to when you apply actual lip gloss to it you have to keep reapplying it um ever so often so again this is what we have here and again this is one of my custom wigs it looks just like my real hair here honey like it is giving natural vibes natural vibes so if you like what you guys seen here go ahead and comment like subscribe turn on that notification button so that you can guys see exactly when i'm going to be uploading additional content um and stay tuned for additional material coming to you very soon make sure that you comment let me know what all you would like to see and if you actually like this video what i could do different um and until next time i will see y'all later